Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode two of Aloria's Descent into Darkness. We are here <clears throat> back again where we left off previously. Um, the our merry band of uh, <clears throat> adventurers here. It was a very weird party, by the way. Um, um are uh have made their way to Dragon's Rest, um, part of the Stormwreck Isles. Uh they had a very, very eventful um first uh arrival. Uh a, a warm welcome or or um undead uh welcome uh to the island. Um but we are here. They have now made their way to Dragon's Rest and are being introduced to the citizens and residents of the Dragon Rest area of this island. Um, when we left off, uh, our group was walking up the staircase here and they were greeted by an elder um, who seems to be the head person here at, uh, the, um, at Dragon's Rest here. Um, which they introduced themselves as Elder Runara, um, and as she points to, or fans out to everybody, these are my friends, um, and she rattles off all these names, um, some characters are, they, there are some characters, I'll tell you that, um, so we have Aga, Lep, Rub, Kelnip, uh, Laylee, Myla, uh, Mum, Poe, Rix, and Zark. They are all of the kobolds. Um, <clears throat> they are all the kobolds that you guys see uh, surrounding you guys. Um, <clears throat> and then off to the back, it was mentioned before that there were some humans. These are... Uh, two humans named Tar Tarak and uh, Varnoff. Um, and at this point, because of the uh, welcome that William is so enthusiastically giving and just walking right by everybody, not caring, um, <clears throat> while uh, Runara is telling you guys, uh, you know, all this stuff, and he's like, all right, I will see you guys later. So at this point, he has disappeared. So we will now. Oh. <laughs> he is gone. Okay. You have no idea where he's at. <laughs> um, so there's that. And everybody has now uh, pretty much went their own separate ways. Um, and... From that, so I will now reveal the next part All right. of this walkway here, which you will now see <clears throat> there are a bunch of rooms, um, but they look like cells. I'll say there, there are cells here, um, but some of them have been converted into rooms. Um, okay. You'll see that the, this first one here is uh, pretty empty, but there is a bed. Um, and a desk there. Um, then the room next to it is um, if my mouse will actually click on everything, which it's not doing at the moment because I'm dumb. Okay, this is Tarok's room. Um, mm -hmm. And then the one next to him is Varnoth's. Um, and then the cluttered one next to that is Myla. Uh, and Myla's room where... It's more like a laboratory because she is an inventor kobold, which you'll notice by her appearance. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, Laylee is her little assistant that is eagerly running around collecting items for her and everything. Nice. Uh, as you guys are like walking, walking by and everything. And uh, um, mm -hmm. sorry, Runara oh, is uh, explaining everything. Um, pretty much giving you guys a tour a little bit. Um, and then, of course, these next last two are just rooms pretty much for where everybody else is at. They are all hammocks and everything in here, so all the other 
all the residents pretty much occupy these areas here. So there's not pretty much, pretty much not too much to do. Um, but, gotcha. but I would say your place of residence is the first open room, uh, at the very beginning. Um, so again, one bed and a desk. So you guys can use that as you see fit. Uh, <laughs> um, and then, God. yeah. So, got you guys got any questions or anything? Um, I didn't want to talk to the laboratory person. Laboratory person. Okay. Yeah. So you are pretty much right next door, right here. Um. So. Uh, I kind of walk up to the little. It's it's stone, right? The stone walls and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a okay. like stone walls and a rock face. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna knock as as well as you can on stone right next to them, <laughs> see if I can get the retention. Okay. Of the um, inventor cobalt. All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, out walks, or I guess technically it's the uh, little curious assistant helper comes opening the door eagerly uh, and has a bunch of tools all over her uh, trying to uh, open this door. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll hear like clanging and banging oh, around right. behind the door and everything and you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, and she opens the door. <clears throat> and how tall is she? Uh, how tall are they? Pretty average size for a kobold. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, <laughs> one sec. Like three to four foot. Three to four foot. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to look down. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ab okay. ab uh, about yeah, and then um, you'll see off to the side there is Myla, who is um the kobold tinkerer she's just mess messing around with stuff on a table nearby so you see uh you see Mila over here working at a table um and at this point they haven't really said anything to you guys they're pretty much just like acknowledging you're there and then also continuing to work on so if you like to interact with them uh by all means um salutations i am zarlius this is my cohort arden what may you be working on <clears throat> okay so you um uh <clears throat> all right so Lele, the assistant over here as like she's grabbing some tools off of the desk and trying to give them to Myla over here. Um, they're like, oh, we're working on... Uh, hmm. uh, well, you see, it's kind of a long story. Um, a lot of things have happened recently. Um, and Myla is trying to uh, get her siblings back. Um, they have been uh, siding with Spark Render, who is a dragon uh, that has kind of been terrorizing the island a little bit uh, here uh, recently. Um, and they have decided to work under him, and she's just really sad about that. And is trying her hardest to either make potions to try to get them to come back to their senses, or just she's she's just having a rough time. And you'll see that, like, as as you guys are talking, you'll see like uh like an alchemist set over there. And because you guys are talking about a very sensitive topic, eh, she overpours, and then the uh, glass shatters and 
yeah, she's she just throws a little fit and just uh, walks back to the corner and thinks again on what what can be done. Um, yeah, to fix her uh, <clears throat> solution because either she added too much, she added too little. Uh, she's she's just too focused on working on something. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. What? What kind of dragon? A. It's uh. So Spark Render. He is a. Uh, a blue dragon wormling. Um, he is obviously smaller than most dragons, but obviously to us kobolds, he's pretty big. Um, and he's off on like the southern so southeast, I think, I believe, side of the island at an observatory. Trying to do something, uh, we we don't really know. It just seems that he's preoccupied on doing, um, some type of ritual is what we've heard. Um, but we don't really know much because, you know, we're kind of terrified and like to stay hidden a little bit. Mm -hmm. Understandable. So Sounds like a very troubling experience. Yes, very, very. Um, so what? brings you guys to Dragon's Rest, or let alone this island. Um, you wouldn't believe me if I explained. <laughs> this is even supposed to be our final destination. We're supposed to go somewhere else. <sighs> Understandable. It sounds like it was either a... <clears throat> Probably a storm off to the to side of the island that it was coming close towards you guys and you had to dock really quickly over here. That makes sense. We've had a lot of travelers before. Um, some have not made it here. Um, mm -hmm. And uh believe you guys have ran into some, possibly. Um, Are you speaking of the undead? Yes. Yes, very much so. Um, what is causing them to stay alive? We're not too sure. We know that... Uh, all we know, really... Um, uh, for us, really, we, we don't know too much. The only one that probably would would be our elder, um, who, you know, takes rule over uh dragon's rest for us uh she's been very very grateful for all of us and helping us out and you know keeping us maintained here so she probably would have the most uh knowledge on it um Not sure. for for us uh no idea we just seen some travelers who had probably an infection it looked like it they had some weird marks on them and then they just keeled over and oh. then you know, we've had some other people show up, and of course, you know, we thought they were dead. Some people went to go investigate, and, you know, some things, yeah. one thing led to another, and... They never came back. Yeah, so... It's been very hard, uh, living here and trying to be, uh, kind people, because, like, you know we're we're very kind uh we you know we can't really do much here um especially where we're located on pretty much a cliffside um right can't really do much uh so we're just living living our life uh trying to help when we can so does the city not have natural protections or a card of some sense oh yes yes we definitely do we we definitely do have a a guard a, a wonderful guard um it is our elder she's she's pretty great uh she's been able to um keep uh spark render away from dragon's rest um mm -hmm. 
for the most part. Um, Can I roll an Arcana check real quick? An Arcana check? Sure. Yes. What are you trying to... I'm uh, trying to see if I can kind of... Because they're mentioning how she's able to keep him away. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see if it's a magical means or if it's just something else. Okay. I think I want to assist with that too as well. <clears throat> All right. So would that be plus something or plus something else or just uh are we... uh or are we doing uh roll twice pick the highest. Yeah, we'll do that. Like it, yeah, roll twice pick the highest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 16. 16, okay. You can definitely sense, um, uh, do, do you, like, so, the Elder is outside on the pathway, still kind of leading you guys, but she has stopped, because you guys have stopped to enter in one of the rooms. Um, mm -hmm. do you look outside, or, like, towards her, when they mention, mm -hmm. oh, it's our Elder? Um, or are you just, like, sensing it in this general area? Because I'll say with a 16, and if you are looking, like when they mention the elder, you're like, oh, that one lady. Um, yeah. Then I will say there is a faint, at the current time, there's a faint bit of aura emanating from her. Yeah. So you can definitely tell it's either a magical effect or it might be her herself so you don't know quite yet um you okay. just know that there is an aura just vibing off of her right gotcha so it'd be the vibes it'd be the vibes yes so do you continue talking or are you going to continue the tour Continue the tour. Continue the tour. Okay. I'm definitely thinking on it. Okay. As we continue. A little, a little side well, note there. Okay. So you'll step out and follow. We'll leave you be to your work, and we hope that you have much process and progress. Thank you. And if this, okay, so at this point you hear a different voice from the other one. Which is Myla saying, <clears throat> Thank you. If you find my idiotic brothers, tell them that they need to come home. Will do. Okay. And then you just hear a door shut behind you. <clears throat> okay. Continuing on upwards. Just gonna go and do a oh no that's oh that's too big. <laughs> Let's do this a bit. Hold on. There is a long pathway here, so you'll just be following Runara up here. Uh, again, you still have no idea where William went. Um, okay. Uh, do I notice any other little offshoots on our pathway over here? Or any offshoots? Uh, roll and invest. Just a flat? Roll okay. a straight investigation. Okay. And roll some investigation. Ooh. Uh, investigation just without my or my passive investigation, or just roll a uh, investigation. Uh, let me see which one. Passive investigation. Uh, I'd roll it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are we taking the twelve, or am I adding my plus one? Uh, yeah, you're you're good. So a thirteen. Okay. Um, yeah. You'll see there are some, like, there's not much. It's just a. It's kind of like a rock face, but you do see. I will say you'll see like a little bit of like maybe like there has been some digging here recently. Um, okay. So they, it seems like they might be expanding a little bit. Um, hmm. Gotcha. And continuing up the path a little bit. 
Uh, here, let me just let me also put the old ad here just to help me out. There we go. Okay. Uh, moving up the path a little bit further, you'll come to this little area up here, which yeah. Runara explains. This is our, um, our uh, so this is our winch house. This is a small freestanding building, which is halfway up the path, has a peaked roof, um, mm -hmm. but it also has a weathered wooden door. Okay. There is a sturdy wooden uh, pallet wrapped with rope that hangs beneath the building on an iron chain laying flat against the surface. So you can kind of um uh do you do you peek inside to see like the inside of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So while looking in sure. yeah, while looking inside, you see that uh, there is a character standing here, and this is Zark. He is um, currently reeling up the winch, and um, you'll see that the pallet is lowered down to the water about fifty feet below. Um, when uh, boats deliver some supplies, so some boats do come up on this little shore here. Uh, we're not mm -hmm. really sure. It's kind of a little rock face here. Um, and to get some supplies up, they use this little area here. Um, gotcha. Um, and then um, you'll see on the, uh, on the floor, there is a little lever. And you'll see uh, Zark grab onto the lever and pull it, and it locks the winch into place. You'll, you'll just see him just working. So, busy workers, busy busy days. Yep. Oh, yes, Lord. All right. I'm explaining what we. Yeah. Ooh, more space. And then moving up the little pathway again, you will now come into the cafeteria or the kitchen area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yes. Here you will find Mumbo, who is. Uh, busy just cooking away now that there are some new guests that have arrived. They are currently in the middle of making uh, some food. Um, at this point, you really have no idea what it is. Uh, <laughs> you just see a bunch of ingredients all over the place. And um, What do I smell? Some. I I'll probably say there's probably some insects in there. I'm not going to lie. Right. Um there's uh there is some little bit of uh some fruits and veggies you smell a little bit and you can okay. you can guess that those are probably from the winch house where they just got supplies recently um yeah yeah so it, there's just a hodgepodge of just stuff they're just they're literally just making whatever at this point because they're they're just making a big feast for everybody um, yeah I tell Wombo, smells great in here. <laughs> Thanks. Working real hard. And you just hear like a clattering <laughs> and everything. Oh my, do you need any assistance? Oh no, I got it. And then you hear like a uh, a bottle get knocked off the table and shatter. Ah, oh, okay. Well, eh, I'll get it later. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love this character. What's his name? Name again? His name is Mum Mumpo. Okay, Mumbo. I like Mumbo. Yes. Um. Is everyone here a kobold? Uh, yes, except for two people. Okay. Two people are humans. The rest are all kobolds. Um, gotcha. You you will notice. I will say you'll notice by some of their clothing that obviously some of them are different. So when you saw Myla, you also saw like a bunch of tinkering stuff all over her. Um, and then her little assistant, Layla, you'll see that there was like other miscellaneous tools and stuff on her as well. Um, but everyone yeah. else seems like either a normal kobold or, um, a little bit like a, a commoner kobold. So like they still have like a yeah. little bit of raggedy clothes, but because of the protection here, they have a ha happy, healthy lifestyle here. Um, nice. yeah. 
it was pretty, happy pretty, as you can be underneath. Yeah, yeah, uh, under, yeah, under, underneath the thumb under, of a dragon. Yeah, underneath the uh, the things of that's been going on here. Um, and then traveling up, you will now, she, uh, Ruina will now show you guys off to the library. This is a uh big library uh that you would not expect ha uh to be on this island, especially with kobolds. Um. Yeah. Also, probably because of their standing as well, just a little bit on the cliff face. <laughs> uh, so, um, of all of the doorways, um, cut into the cliff face here, this room actually has a normal, actual door, like an actual, like, solid, sturdy door. Um, this <laughs> this uh entry door is made out of sturdy oak with iron bands. Um, and it swings open to easily reveal this spacious library to you guys. Bookshelves line every wall um, with three uh, freestanding bookshelves um, in the west half of the room. Um, okay. And in the east half of the room, there is a table with two benches, writing implements, book stands, and glass shielded lamps as well. To, to light up the area at night. Um, and in here, you'll see two more kobolds. Okay. Um, I'm curious. So many books. Just start looking around, just perusing some of the books that they have in this adventurous library. So you'll probably be like looking through one of these little aisles here on the free yeah. freestanding shelves. Yeah, I just see uh two piece uh <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of uh little comics here. Um they're not yeah. that great, some of them. You'll see some of them are a little tattered. Um yeah. definitely there's a hand drawn one. Yeah, definitely well worn. Um you'll see on that hand drawn one, uh you'll see um this is uh ah uh, yes, this is a uh, a on the back of the book at the very bottom it says the title it says Blep's greatest adventure. Mm -hmm. Um, underneath it, I see there's a small note that says my o my O C do not steal. Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. I want to see if there's any cobalt romantic light novels. Oh, I'm sure. You want to roll an investigation? <laughs> I sure yes, do. Please. Okay, roll an investigation. See if you. I do. I'm helping with this. I'm actively looking through the books as well. <laughs> okay. This is one of the times that we actually roll really well. I bet. Wow. Yeah. I bet. Roll. Roll button. Oh, that's another four. Okay, so Jesus eight. Jesus Christ. Another four, so eight. Oh, dear, you fucking monster. Go. All right. Roll again. Yeah. Do separate rolls. Because you, uh, because you have. Or, yeah, um, yeah. Roll. But okay. Roll another. Advantage. Yeah. Roll. Jesus. <laughs> Forgot the word. Five. Okay. Jesus Christ! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Can you um, not see in the dark very well? So... Is this well lit? I have dark vision and I'm still rolling that. So, no. Uh, okay, so I will say, for the specific type of genre book you are trying to look for, uh, you do not find it. You do, however, find a little light novel that says, Kobolds Can Be Heroes. How do I get this? Do they do money? Do I purchase this? Do I rent this out? I want this now. Yeah, um, as just like a resident here it's available for everybody to view um so you can read it while you are here on in dragon's rest yeah i'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna rest in here and read this book I'm gonna rest in here and read this book yes i am <laughs> okay um all right then you'll sit over here and read that book uh zarlius are you going to continue the tour Just... i'll continue the tour okay so because I'm still wary of the head lady here. Okay, so as you're following her out 
and saying bye to Arden. Um, you'll notice that there is more of a path to follow. God damn, this place is winding. Yes, it is very. Oh my. Um. So as you're following here, is there anything you want to discuss or take note of while you're walking up this pathway? Are there railings here? No, definitely not. Do you need me to come with you? (laughs) No, no. I'm just curious because I was like, wait, what's what's their safety here? Jesus. Yeah. um, Yeah. yeah, There's there's no no. As you're like, oh wait, are there railings here? You take a step and just rocks crumble below you. Um. Zarlius is like clinging to the wall as much as he can. <laughs> clinging to the wall. He he does not do well with heights. Okay. And as you guys are walking up to the very top, you finally come up to the Temple of Bahamut. Okay. Oh. Yes. Um. So, at the highest point of the cloister is crowned by an open-air temple that overhangs okay. the cliff. Uh-huh. Supported by arched stone struts, arched to... uh, Anchored, not arched, anchored to the cliff face. The north wall of the temple is carved directly into the rock. Um, while the rest is an open... Uh, is open to the sea air. Yeah. Heavy pillars mark uh the three open sides supporting the wooden roof uh in the center of the temple stands a stone statue of a kind looking old man with canaries perched on his hands his shoulders and his head a feeling of serenity um uh sur- uh surfaces uh sur- bleh, surfaces this place <clears throat> So you'll you'll you can you can definitely feel more of the vibe here. Um that there's some something holy going on here from your yeah. previous uh check. Arcana check earlier. Yeah. It's still lingering a little bit. Because you're following you've been following her this entire time, so you'll you you're following a trail, essentially. And you'll see that when you enter this room... Quick question. Yeah, what's up? Because my character follows not this god, is it okay for him to just be walking into places that are not... Zarlius is standing still in the pathway? Standing still in the pathway? Okay. Yeah, he does not want to step in without confirmation that it's okay. Okay. Um, So from the doorway, I'll say this. So from the doorway... This the statue that you see, or part parts of the statue. Um, yeah, that temple has a very simple look. Um, with the statue, it's also the only only furnishing in this area as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so the statue you will see. Can you roll me a history check, gotcha. real quick, just to see if you know about this supposed deity? Fourteen. 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 Okay. I will say you do know a little bit. You'll know it. You know a little bit. Um, so you know that this is a uh, statue that depicts Bahamut, which is the platinum dragon. Um, but it's his mortal disguise. Um, surrounded by the seven canaries. Um, that represent the gold dragons who accompanied him on his travels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I would also like you to yeah. do a, uh, you also do an intelligence check as well. For religion, I should say. Gotcha. A, we'll religion, a, religion. a religion check? Well, it's, it's a, Oh, oh yeah, 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 religion, yeah. Fuck. Eight. Uh, seven, eight. <laughs> no, okay, so you, I would say that you, you know, you've heard, you've heard stories 
um, yeah. of Bahamut, the Platinum Dragon. But you um, did not know where he resides, really, um, or what he did on his travels. So you don't know. Yeah. Or, don't know that at all. Um, unless you want to ask. But again, you are still standing at the door. So yeah. you, you will say, okay, I will say you do see uh, Rix, who is actually. Um, uh, Elder Runa, uh, Runara's uh, assistant. Um, uh -huh. You do see them there. They are just kind of, I guess, at this point, polishing um, and you know, keeping the statue um, in yeah. pristine condition. Um, I, I, I kind of like motion at Runara and just kind of like can't. Uh... Oh yes. I, um, I okay. <laughs> uh yes um it is safe uh this place um yes this temple is of bahamut but at the current standing it is my place of residence on this part of the island huh. so you when are... did you get to this island oh uh long time ago. Very, very long time ago. It actually holds some sentimental value. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. It's like, I... I don't know how to feel about Renara right now. Because I can't tell whether or not this is just Zarlia is being just overly cautious, or he genuinely feels wrong here. Yeah. Do you want to do an inside check? Sure. Okay. Insight, insight. God damn, and that's super great. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. This this changes things. I okay. Jesus. Okay. This this changes some things. Okay. No, oh, no. Oh God. So. Within that insight check, do sense that she is telling the truth. Um, mm -hmm. That it does hold sentimental value to her, um, and that she was he, that she's been here for a very long time. Yeah. However, I will say <laughs> <laughs> the 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 faint aura that is around her. Not the statue, uh -huh. not not the statue, not the statue, but around her does seem to take a shape a little bit behind Shit. it, just just emanating a little bit. You don't know the exact shape quite yet, but you can definitely tell it's a shape. Uh, pretty big one, by the way. Um, shit, 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 shit. Yeah. Um, I I kind of. Like, I kind of grab for my little, uh, my little talisman for my religion, because I'm just like <laughs> shit. Okay. And I'm, I'm kind of just like in my head praying. I was as I'm kind of just like, uh. Yeah, she's been with Zarlius this whole time. Okay. Not visible though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. If I may ask bluntly, uh -huh. what are you? Uh, <clears throat> how 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 bluntly are you asking? <laughs> like just straight up to her face? Yes. If you're able to hold back a dragon from seeing this place, what exactly are you? You see, my friend, I cannot tell you exactly right now because I don't trust you um, or your friends. But I will say that you guys have defeated those undead creatures um, for us. So I thank you for that. Um, and we do welcome you with open arms because we're not monsters. 
But, well, I mean, I guess that depends on how you see the kobolds. But, um, yeah, we're not terrible people. We live our lives here, trying to do our best. Since Spark uh, Render showed up, it's been very hard. Very hard, because uh, I wasn't the only one protecting this place. Uh, younger brother also protected this place, but he is also now captured by Spark Render and being held. For the ritual. I don't ritual? I don't exactly know what he has planned. Uh -huh. But it seems that Spark Render has occupied a certain location on this island and plans to do some type of ritual. We've heard the rumors from other people as well as Myla's brothers talking about it at one point before they de yeah. defected. Um, so, I'm not sure what he has planned, but I know it's not good. Yes. So. Do you worship Bahamut? Yes, of course I do. Um, um, the aura she had, mm -hmm. do I know a color of it, or is it just kind of there? You will notice it is bronze. It's a bronze color. Are you... Are you a dragon? Now, why oh, did you suggest that? Just... So, I guess she's gonna nip at Zara. This is, um, ankles. You freak out. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, um... I, I accidentally bump into the little servant guy as I'm trying to, like, get the fuck away from whatever the fuck was over there. Okay. How does Renara act to the fact that somebody just blatantly goes, Are you a fucking dragon, too? Ah, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so she looks at you very questioningly, like, No, of course not. And then, like, Oh. Something else is here. So obviously she she knows that there's something else here, but she she knows she knows she definitely knows that there's the bee knows that something's near you. Yeah. Um. As as I'm like hopping away from that, as I'm kind of just like just terrified, I like I I kind of just like clutch my back, like uh, clutch my like stone I have like on my hip. I huh? like pull it close. Okay. Because I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? Okay. Alright. Um, so let's now cut away a bit. Arden, are you still reading that book? I believe that I've reached a good stopping point where it's like, stop. oh, I had a compatriot with me. I should probably check on them. Yeah, okay. So do you go find Zarlius? Uh, yes. Considering I was walking with them and I stopped to read a delicious book, I think I was like, oh, I should probably go check on Zarlius and I'll go attempt to locate them. Okay. Give me an investigation. See if you can find their footprints. I sure can. Let me see. Just, just, just see. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely know okay. that they went to the right um, and you do recall seeing Runara uh, and Zarlius walk to the right. Um, so it's very, very easy. You pick up on their little trail here. Yeah. And walk up the way here. And you're about right here when you uh, hear like a, I guess a scream, possibly. Oh, yeah. But it's more of a, a shocked, like a, ah, you know, like one of those. From mm -hmm. from Zarlius, so that's like as you're walking up the stairs, you hear that. Um, so, you're now at the door. 
Got you. Okay. So my first initial thought hearing from them, I'm a little on the alert side. Uh huh. Like, is everything all right? Oh, yes. I was just telling him about our history here a little bit, how I got here. Um, and he got spooked. Gotcha. Can I do with my wonderful furbolg magic, um, a casual detect magic? Sure. Oh. Okay. I was hoping one of us had that because. <laughs> oh no, I do. It's a furball trait, so I can just. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you. Okay. Not necessarily in my spell list. Hold on. If I'm doing it. Features and traits. Uh huh. Oh, there you are. Okay. Bam. Cap. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Uh, is there <clears throat> is there a uh, spell uh, DC for the detect magic? Uh, <laughs> any visible creature in the object in the area that bears magic, it is. No, I'm not seeing one. It's a concentration spell. I guess I just have to roll to see if it succeeds. But, oh, All right, let's there. roll, please. <laughs> no, no, I got you. <laughs> Oh god, shit, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what was the roll for? Because the tech magic is just an automatic thing. Oh, oh okay. okay, then what happens? Okay. Sarkash is glowing like a motherfucker. That is, <laughs> that is definitely true. Okay, so Arden, you definitely see the misty form of Sarkasha literally uh -huh. right next to Zarlius. Yeah. Purple and red um, so Yeah. What about the aura of the lady herself? Because I know that we made it a religion and invest like a yeah. religion. Yeah. Like, like a, a like a check. religion and magic check. Yes. So there is obviously one from her, but there is also a faint aura around the statue as well. Um. Okay. And actually, can I? Can you do yes. a history check for me? I was okay. so excited. I was hoping you would say that. I'm great at that. Maybe. <laughs> D20 plus Jesus. Like 10. Okay. That's I think that's worse than me. Yes. Um Jesus. Yeah, you have no idea who she is, what this place is, where what what sentimental values the statue has, you have no idea. But you do sense that the statue also has a faint aura emitting from it. Mm -hmm. And then a bronze-colored uh, aura emitting from her as well. You said, uh, William, you said Shrikasha was what colors? Um, black and red black and a little bit of purple. Okay. So you're just seeing a bunch of aura everywhere when you walk in the room. Yeah. Um, to add to this whole uh, colorful nonsense, um, Zarlius' little stone, his beast stone, uh, that thing will be glowing bright green. <laughs> So you, you can also take note that Zarlius also has something else on him as well that glows. Okay. Noticing this wonderful aura light show. I'm just walking in. I was like, oh, is the wind nipping at your feet again? You really must be careful, Zarlius. <laughs> I, I guess so. I, I kind of just like shuffled towards... Arden and just kind of like stand close. Yeah, I give you a look. I'm like, oh, don't come near me. I got you. Yeah. And then you'll see Ricks over here that you have knocked over a little bit, just trying to stand back up <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, 
What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know what came over me there. My yeah. apologies. Okay, all is forgiven. Don't worry about it. And you just see them turn around and just continue polishing the statue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Do you relay any notes? I was like, oh, I whisper. It's like, so, did you guys have a nice chat? Would you catch up? I, I was reading this lovely Cobalt novel. Just religion things. Oh, that, uh, that Cobalt novel you were reading, was that, was that Bleps? What? Uh, you know, I, no, you, I can't say. You can't say? Okay. I just found it in a novel in the library, and I was like, huh, this looks like a fun read. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff in there. I always go in there and read some stuff. Um, we always get some shipments um, in, and we get food. Uh, we get some other supplies, because, you know, Myla's tinkering around down there and everything. Um, we also get some books from time to time. Some of them do get a little tattered on the way here. Um, but for the most part, it's... Some good reading. Yeah. Yes. And next, we now cut away to our hidden friend, William. What have you been up to, my guy? Okay, so... <laughs> I will reveal you down here for right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So, seeing... I traveled way the fuck up here. Um, seeing them slip by, like, what the fuck's going on? You get the fuck up here. Stay there. Okay. You're just hearing them at the doorway yelling at, uh, Mumbo. Mm -hmm. After making sure they have all left, I will continue my conversation with Mumbo. So, who was I sent here for, Mumble? I know you know. Just give me the name. I can get on about the way, but I do have a message you have to go give Ander. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a long trek back, but sure. Um, it's one of the humans. Hmm? It's one of the humans. It's very obvious. Um, <clears throat> it, okay. it is a human named Tarok. Okay. Now, most of the time I don't ask, but what did he do to piss y'all off? I mean, what else can I say? He, he has history, man. And I mean, obviously, so do you, because you're here. <laughs> Mumbo, I don't know how many times we have gone over this. I'm the dumb one. What do you expect? Fucking... <laughs> Mumbo. Oh, dear Mumbo. Okay. I need to go through your flower pantry, or do I need to go talk to the Tinker River? I mean, either way, it kind of leads you to the same direction. But, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay, um, I'll be back in like ten minutes. Save me some of that fucking grub. You, get, <sighs> you got it. <clears throat> you okay. he, and you hear more clinging in the back. <laughs> <laughs> So making my way down to the Tinker. Okay. Um I'll knock on the door. Okay. Just wait for a response. Is it is it a is it a secret knock or just a just a normal knock? It's a regular knock. Okay. So again, uh Layla, the assistant, opens the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're that one guy that came in with those other two. Very smart fucking inquiry. Okay. Yeah. Walking past that one. <laughs> um. 
gonna just walk up right behind the tinkerer and be like, hey, 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 and I'm just gonna say hey until I get their attention. Oh my god. <laughs> You're that one. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, and so what you see is since, again, same thing like before, not paying mm-hmm. attention at all. Uh, until you're like right behind her, <laughs> then that's when like she'll get to, like the uncomfortable twitch a little bit. So then you'll see mm-hmm. that she pours just a little bit more mixture in again, but this time it doesn't break the glass. It just makes a little poof. You're fucking genius. Okay, look. <laughs> she goes, "What? <laughs> I need two things from you, and I'll." Get out of your scales. Gonna say hair, but you don't have hair. Okay. Okay. I need nightshade and I need death root. Do you have that? Uh, sure. Give me a second. Uh, I think so. Should be some in this box over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gotta. Gotta. Got a uh, 19 on that roll uh, for investigation. <laughs> Just a straight roll. Um, so, yes, there you get... Uh, she rummages through. She, like, looks at all these ingredients here. And, of course, Nightshade is probably going to be at the very bottom of the box. Um, so, she's going through, looks at this. He goes, hmm, this isn't right. Throws it. And, like, you see Layla over there in the back trying to catch all the ingredients so it doesn't... <laughs> You know, uh, if Layla's hands yeah. are getting too full, I'll start to catch things. Things, okay, yeah, yeah, no, at this point, it's just a straight cartoon. She's just digging through these things, but obviously, she knows where they're at, so it's more of she's tossing some of the random junk out and just grabbing the things. So, I will say she has five of each, okay, okay. I'm going to use her little alchemist laboratory real quick and make up a, just using one of each flower, I'm going to make up a quick potion, or poison, Okay. rather. And then I'm going to say, okay, thank you, and then leave 10 gold on her counter. Look both of them dead in the eyes and say, I was never here, and walk away. Wait. What is it just, just a straight, like, just straight, just saying, no intimidation, or was there intimidation? No. No? No intimidation, just okay. 10 gold of incentive. Ten, okay. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for your contribution. Uh, as you hear the, as you shut the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I'm, I guess I'll go ahead and peek my head into, oh, fuck, hold on. I'm gonna run back up to Mumbo's and be like, Mumbo, fuck, forgot something. What now? What does this motherfucker look like? Bro. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> He's. One of the two humans on this island, other than you guys. Uh, so he's. You want a- me to kill both the motherfuckers? He's- no! <laughs> so, this- Tara, he is a human. He's a late, middle aged man. He has pale skin, little, little tanned, a little bit darker, you know, has some freckles on his face, a little auburn hair, a little bit. He does have a beard, but it is getting a little gray. Uh, he has gray blue eyes. He has faded tattoos. In an abstract design peak. Um, okay. okay, that's enough. I turn around and walk away. Okay. Okay. And then I'll go find him, basically. Okay. Now, which one of the first two rooms, or first three rooms is he in? The second one. Okay. So, yeah. So, this one. Yeah. Is there a door on this one, or is this an entryway? This is a solid, just entryway. It's just an archway. Mm-hmm. Um, from the doorway, you do see that <clears throat> he's a he is an avid botanist. 
um, while coming to this island. So you'll see he has some plants, some potted plants and stuff going on. He has some herbs, some flowers, some vegetables. Um, and he, you, you can definitely tell that he is very knowledgeable on herbalism. Okay. Um, hmm. Guess I will make a little clink on the side of the stone with my pistol. Okay. You know, ah! Uh, hello? Hi. Hi. How's your day going? Well, it's going pretty good. You know, got, got some good sun out here, all these flowers growing. It's great. Good. Uh, heard that, uh, you're the guy that just showed up with those two other creatures. Um, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. How's it going? So, um, you're botanist. Uh, yeah. I need some help with some of the local flora. Do you mind taking a walk with me and, uh, helping me pick out some stuff? Yeah, sure. I know, right. I know, I know a place. All right, cool. Let's go. I'll let him lead the way. Okay. So it'll be making like sure, damn near making sure nobody sees us leave. Okay. So it'll be about yeah, about like that. Um. Then let me. Uh. Okay. Um. Just switch scenes here real quick. We'll just roleplay this. Okay. So <clears throat> as he leads you down this path back where you guys came in from, um, back towards the beach a little bit, but then he goes into the forest. Like mm. just like straight back into the forest um a little bit. And at this point you'll see like some of the uh flowers and stuff that you have seen actually growing in his little uh place um and then some of the other random flowers and stuff that you saw in Mila's place that were being thrown all over the place um and other ingredients you'll see just scattered around here as well in the forest okay roughly how far away from the town are we a little bit away like maybe okay. like maybe like 2 miles away okay Cause it's like, cause you have to go down the path, go around, and then okay. yeah. So, yeah. But now you're in the forest-ish area that's by the beach. So it's there's there's a little bit of that, but then there's also like you know the cliff faces and things as well. Okay. So uh, how long you been on this island? Oh, oh, uh, you know, um. Well, let's see. What's his average round? So, let's say he's like, I don't know, 45. So, maybe like, six years. Okay. Now, off of, off of my memory, do I recall how long ago this, uh, this person left from the guild. Um. <clears throat> do you want to roll a history check? Sure. To see how long ago it was. Let me get up here. Get over here. <clears throat> and do this one right here. Oh, shit. Okay, that one makes sense. No, I actually figured out. Sorry, some shit was going on. Okay. 22. 22? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, yeah, it would have been about six years ago. Or se I would pro okay. I would probably say seven. Um, but okay. he has spent the last six years on here. So, 
a very, very fiendish grin appears from under my mask, even though he still can't see it. So, uh, what'd you do before the island? Uh, well, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. Um, the merchant for a little bit. Okay. As he's saying a little bit of this and a little bit of that, is his back turned towards me? I I would say, like, probably, like, halfway, like, he's, like, in the process of turning. Like, okay. like, like to acknowledge you, like, because, so, walking in this dense forest a little bit, it is, like, there are, like, branches and stuff, so he's, like, moving them out of the way, but also, like, looking back mm -hmm. at you to make sure you're not, like, too far behind him. Um, okay. Also, so he doesn't whack you with a branch, but, you know. So, whenever he fully faces me, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to have to do this all at once. Okay. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to, or whenever he's fully facing me, I'm going to lunge at him, shove my hidden blade in his throat, and cover his mouth with my hand. Okay. So, yeah, it's a, it's technically somewhat of a surprise attack. He was not expecting you to do this, so obviously you succeed in that. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so he's like, uh, uh, you know, on the ground. And just staring into his eyes as his light fades away, I'm going to tell him, I know what you did before this island. And I'm here again. Okay. And I'm going to just let his body fall. Okay. Motherfucker, this goddamn blood on the shit. I'm gonna wipe off his blood from my blade, retract it back, and then. I'm going to use Fist of Air, the cantrip, to dig a hole. Big enough for his body. Okay. And then cover the hole back up and go back to the town. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Is that whenever it? I okay. whenever I get to the town, I'm going to. Well, okay. Let me backtrack a sec. Before I bury him, I'm gonna check his body for whatever the fuck was taken. Okay. Um, okay. So I, I I I will say, yeah, do that first. Get some investigation going. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Mm. You find, uh, you find two potions of healing, on him because he just made those. That's fucking useful. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> so, from obviously what you gathered, I will say, you gathered that um, because he had a bunch of, like, exotic plants and stuff in his room, mm -hmm. that you would guess that he visits a nearby cave, which uh, you guys would have probably seen the entrance to on your way in. Uh, like, when you guys were, like, uh, getting docked off on one of the sides, like, on one of the sides of the island, you might have seen, like, a cave entrance, so you could kind of guess that that's probably where he visits a lot to get some of these uh, mushrooms to make um, these po potions of healing as well. Mm -hmm. um, and with your extended history check from earlier, you're 22. Um, you would have noticed that uh, his visible tattoos. Um, you will have noticed that these are very, very similar to what people have discussed, saying this is the person 
indeed who has stolen something uh, from the Thieves Guild. Um, uh, and yeah, you would also find a symbol that is marked with the Gilded Gallows uh, Thieves Guild is hmm. the is the little symbol. So you do find what you're looking for. Or you do find a not what you're looking for. You do find a symbol that reminds you of this guild that obviously sent you on this mission or notified you of what had happened previously. Um mm -hmm. and Okay. Um I'm just So really quickly... so so I I would say no, you have not found what you're looking for quite yet. Okay. Okay. But I have a general idea of where it is. You okay. have a pretty decent idea, yes. Okay. So, uh going back to the town, I'm just going to speed this up real quick so just so we can get back to all of us. Mm -hmm. Um Running into his room, I'm going to grab like five or six of the mushrooms that I know make the healing potions. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to run up to Matumbo. Matumbo. Okay. Mumbo. I'm going to run up to Mumbo, tell him job's done, and then steal a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> Hey, it's not an okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna say here, give this to Ander, and I'm going to give him a letter that says, "Ander, I'm doing fine. I'll let you know if something else happens." And then I will go and catch up with the others because it's a one-way path and i haven't seen them come back yet so true <laughs> true <laughs> yeah, this is very yeah. true um so i would say you're walking over here and you're a, like right here you just went up the wind and you're seeing them actually walk out at the exact same time uh okay. they're actually walking out and behind them is also um renara who's pretty much saying like you know, discussing with them, like, you know, we're glad you guys are here. Obviously, you can tell we have some problems going on with this island, um, and we need your help. And it seems like there's more going on behind the scenes with Spark Render and his whatever. Um, and, yeah, if you guys can help, that'd be great. Um, but Spark Render. Oh yeah, you're about probably about right here. If you guys can get up here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll put Tarkash in between both of you. Yeah. <clears throat> so yes, Spark Render. Uh who are you? <laughs> I asked first. She looks at you dumbfounded, because, like, <laughs> it's like, what? Um, okay, well, as I told your companions here, uh, Spark Render is a blue dragon wormling who is terrorizing the island a little bit, just, you know, trying to do whatever he can to do some type of ritual. We don't know exactly what it is or what it entails. We just know that it's something very important to him and he has brought it to this island for some reason. Um, and a lot of things have happened before you guys have gotten here. So some uh, members, family members of some people ha are... Um, working with or enslaved 
by Spark Render, so there's there's that. Um, and there are other uh, mishaps going on on the island. Um, there's a cave um, that has some weird mushroom things. Go, oh, you're talking about these? And I'm pull one of them out. Pull one of them out? Okay. Uh, yeah, like, that. And she looks at you very curiously, like, yeah. You guys just got here, right? <laughs> I want a nature check on that. Okay. <laughs> you know, herbalism. Nature. I'm like, oh, okay. I was going to ask if there was any nature floral gardens around here that I could peruse, but I see that you found one yourself. So There's a whole fucking ahead. room down there. Gotcha. So let's see. You. Oh my god. Damn. Um. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. You. You will know that this is a myconid mushroom. So it is definitely a creature mushroom. A cre creatures that are sentient mushrooms, but these are like um in terms of items, their item drops pretty much after they are defeated. So or just scavenged. There there are some small mushrooms that are on the so this is from a mushroom creature, essentially. Yes, essentially, yes. Mm -hmm. You can definitely um, know <laughs> you know that for sure, because you know that these okay. mushrooms you know you know that these mushrooms don't look like regular mushrooms. So the only thing you can think of is some type of sentient being or something that can use fungus. Got you, and the magic lady is aware. Of this information? No. Yes, she knows exactly where these come from. She literally just said there's a cave. So oh, yeah. that's where they came from. So that's why she's kind of shocked that William has one already in his possession. Um. All I say is, well, someone's been busy. And I give a little side eye, a little charming side eye. I was like, I got you. Okay. <laughs> Point. All right. Um, there are also some, uh, another thing to note, there are some other uh, kobold uh, rebels that are not for our little area and Sparkrender. Mm -hmm. They're just off doing their own thing. So, you know, the forest area on this island is very hectic. Um, there's not just those renegade kobolds. There's other creatures out there as well. So when you guys journey out, do be careful. Um, I think I'll go talk to him. That'll be fun. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So it is getting pretty late at this time because uh, you guys have traveled to the island at this point. You guys have also battled a bunch of zombies um, on your arrival here. Um, <clears throat> and then getting a tour around Dragon's Rest as well as William doing his own thing in the meantime. It is getting closer to nighttime. Um, so, uh, Runara does mention, uh, we do have a guest, uh, room, um, but there is also a few available hammocks, um, next to some of the kobolds if you guys would like, uh, it's up to you, um, but we do have, uh, a room available if you guys would like to use that by all means, um, and yeah, well, see you guys in the morning and just... All right. Walks back into the temple. I'm going to leave Sarkasha up there. Okay. And I'm going to go back to Mumbo's. 
Like, all right, buddy, where are we crashing? Uh, well, you know, that's up to you. Uh, because apparently, you know, you just <gasps> that guy. So his room's available, I guess. Fuck it. Let's go down to the botanist dude's room. Okay. Kick okay. up my feet and chill for the night. Okay. And Zarlius and Arden, what are you guys doing? You go into the room. You're going to go sleep with some kobolds? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go to the room. To the room? Okay. Yeah. Arden, what are you doing? Got you. I think I'm going to make my way also to the room, but hearing, you know, or at least seeing some floral action going on, I think I'm going to take a trip to that botanist. Just ask him a few questions about my herbalism kit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm an item. So you come in the room yeah, seeing William with his feet propped up. Yeah, that is exactly what you see when you come into this room. Because you remember hearing that this is the botanist's room before. So. What's up? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. I just wanted to, you know, peruse the different florals and herbs that you had here. You know, compare and collect, maybe trade a few. If you have the time, I do know it's late. Well, I mean, it's not my shit. Go ahead. Fuck it. Bad, bad. I think I'll do a little investigation. Or no, no. No, no you can pretty much see the pot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to you know, peruse, see if he has some fever view. A couple of items that I could need. Um, any particular pink flower petals at that? Yeah, I, I would say you do notice, like, as you're, like, looking, there is, like, a little pot on the desk nearby. You do see a little note from uh, Myla saying, hey, I have some more ingredients and stuff. Or if you have more ingredients for me, let me know. Um, so that so that way you can you pretty much put two and two together that most of the stuff that she makes her things with. Um, the botanist um, is the guy that collects everything for her. Um mm. And so you would uh, immediately suspect that she probably still has some leftover items that she might not be using right now as well. Good, good. Okay, I will definitely be helping myself to some of these items. Need. Okay. Zarlius, what are you doing next door? I am trying to... I guess my character's trying to sleep now. Okay. Even though this yeah. is kind of just like a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would think so. C coming to this weird island, interacting with whatever William is in a Furbolg for the first time. Um, as well as getting introduced to a bunch of kobolds and a elder. Uh, I would I would say, yeah, you you have a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you definitely have a lot on That's your mind. putting it lightly. Yeah. yeah. Any anything else? Um, I guess throughout the night, if that elder lady does anything weird, I'm gonna get Sarkasha to come get me. And let me know what the fuck's going on. Okay. I think I'll just talk to some of these plants that are around using the, what was it? The beak of beast and something else. Should be the speak of plants. <laughs> I believe. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to see if they know any secrets. Like, hi, friends. Oh, yeah, speech of beast and leaf. I mean, it's not necessarily action. I just have advantage on charisma checks to influence these plants, see if they want to spill some hot gossip. So, see anything around? 
How long have you guys been here? Oh, we've been here for a while. It's, um, <clears throat> this weird dude. This middle-aged man. He just came and picked us up. Potted us in these little pots here. And we've just been here ever since. It's taking very uh, good care of us. Um, we saw this guy come in earlier. <laughs> oh, do say more. Um, yeah, but we haven't seen our botanist friend uh, since they left, like, a couple hours ago. Hmm. That's, uh, okay. Hmm. I think I'll have to have a little chat with him a little later on. What y'all talking about? Oh, uh, just, you know, our favorite petals and stamens. What kind of lilies do you like? That's what we were really asking about. Me? Lilies? Oof. Um... I don't know. Lily at that one bar, she was kind of cool. But most <laughs> of them... I don't, I don't really fuck with most Lilies, you know? That shit... They're not really my type, you know? Understandable. They're passionate flowers that take a bit of work, so it's not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, some of them are flowers, all right. The other ones full blossomed, rotten. Oh, oh gotcha. Well, hearing that, I think I'll take some of these herbs and kits. I will actually move some of these potted plants to the room. Okay. I want to have an all night. I want to have a plant sleepover. Okay. Especially the one I'm talking to. Okay. So you have the floor or the desk <laughs> is your option. Because you, we walk in and you see Zarli is just laying on the bed, contemplating things, looking up at the ceiling. Um, I'll take, wait, desk has a chair. I think I will sit at the desk. Okay, yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so you'll sit at the desk and you'll put the... Uh, potted plant on the desk. Sounds like a little decoration, Sarlia. Say hi. What? Oh, does this plant have a name? Uh, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, oh, meet Lily, Sarlia. Uh, hello. <laughs> you okay? You'll. So for you, you just yes. see this furbolg walk in, put a pl uh, potted plant down, and just talk to it. And then talk to you. And then very... You turn to face the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, one more thing. In the middle of the night, just because this just popped up in my head, I'm going to get up. Walk up to Matumbo's again, see if he's awake, still cooking, or just trying to find that little shit. Uh, you'll see him in the back corner over, <laughs> over here, just passed out with a bunch of like cooking supplies everywhere, and uh, ingredients all 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 over him. Okay, I'm gonna grab a a little flask of water and pour it on his face, kick him in the ribs, and be like, "Wake up!" Ah, <clears throat> what? Ow! My ribs. <laughs> yeah, you'll be better in the morning. I expect my pay. Turn around and walk away. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Good night, Mumbo. Night. I'm gonna just leave. Okay. All right. Now. It has finally come to that time where you guys take a rest. Uh, or pretty much, you guys have, were pretty much doing a long rest at this point now. Um, just talking and doing whatnot for the meantime. So you can do that. And, All right. <clears throat> yep. And so as it fades to night, it is 
pitch dark at this time. It is nighttime. Moon is high up in the sky at this point. Um, you'll hear some birds and other animal weird creatures at this point just making some weird sounds uh, if you guys are still up a little bit. Um, but yeah. but you guys do eventually fall asleep. Um, now, uh, William? Yes? And Arden, you mm -hmm. both with passive, with high, pretty high slash decent passive perception, um, can hear a lot of commotion going on outside. Um, you hear a little bit of screaming and then a little bit of uh, fire crackling going on. Um, and when you guys wake up in that jolt, you go to uh, reach for your weapons and they're not there anymore. So, mm -hmm. so, so during the night, Heavy sleep. Your weapons have been stolen. And would you guys like to leave the room to see what's going on? Yes, I'm going to Absolutely. be Sarkash's name at the top of my fucking lungs. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Sarkasha is going to obviously appear and just well, like run out and then appear about like right here and then just bolt all the way down here. On the way, on the way here, I would say probably about right here on the little ledge right here, um, on the little walkway, uh, she does run into, or, <clears throat> yeah, she'll run into some of these, um, renegade kobolds, and they see her and just run the opposite direction. So towards, towards you, pretty much. Okay. And then, so, she'll come down here past these guys and get to you. Okay, if I see those... If I see the, the other ones running, I'm gonna just try to kick one off the fucking ledge. Okay, yeah. it, it's it's still... It's still nighttime, so... Yeah, are we... And? We... Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, you just do an attack. Do an attack. Just... Well, I mean, I can see in, in magical and non-magical dark. Okay, then, yeah, just Hello? roll an attack. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me, where, 17 uh, to hit. 17 to hit? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely hits. Okay. It's just gonna be like a shove, not really to damage, just to shove it off the fucking cliff. Or a kick, so, rather. Okay, so here's the kobold right here. And you hit it, and it's pretty low health anyway, so you just kick it off and it just dies. What? Bam. It just hits the water and just immediately dies. Stupid fucking god damn it. <clears throat> But you can definitely see that <clears throat> off to the side, you can see over where uh, Milas place the Tinkerers, you can see that the door is broken. And um, there is like fire and smoke coming out of it. Um, and then you turn around to see uh, Arden come out of the room as well and try to figure out what's going on and then you guys see uh, the kobolds run off you know the only pretty much the only direction that you can enter into this place run back that way and guess that they are going into the forest um, William you would think that oh they're probably going to the forest because that's would be a good place to hide for them. 
I'm gonna have a sarcastic just stay on there too. Okay. Not not like directly engaging them, just keeping a distance and that way I know where she's at. Yeah. She knows where they're at, type of thing. Okay. And all right. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to are you gonna wake up Zarlius? Because he's still asleep right now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going, going to, to wake up Zarlius. Okay, so Arden, you're going to run back in here, wake up Zarlius, and William is going to follow Sarkasha. No, 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 I'm not following Sarkasha. I'm going and checking on Milo, or Milo. Okay. Going and checking on Milo. All right. <clears throat> I got respect for that little fur. Sorry, I was going to say fur boat for that little thing. <laughs> All, right. All right. You will see... Uh, both, um, Layla and, um, Myla there. Uh, well, Layla is kind of hiding behind these boxes a little bit and all that, but you mm-hmm. do see that Myla is injured a little bit. She is bleeding currently. And you do see that some, whatever she was working on that night that was on the Alchemist set is now gone. Okay, I'm going to grab Layla, grab Myla, and run them outside so they're not getting hurt by the smoke or anything else like that. And then I'm going to give um, Myla one of those healing potions that I got. Okay. That'll be easy. That'll heal her up. She was only at half health, so (laughs) that'll heal her up. Those damn renegades. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just this. These potions or chemical something I was working to just. God. Everything changed since Spark Render showed up and my brothers defected, went to go work with him. Hate this. Okay. Is anybody else in the visible walkway? Uh, visible walkway? Uh, not really. Uh, well, I'll say you'll see. Uh, Blep here. He has he has two little daggers to to fight with, and he has a lucky dagger, and he calls it his lucky dagger. It's not it's not much. Um, <clears throat> but you you'll see that he had been fighting a bit as well. Um. I'm going to take off my mask, revealing my face to Milo. Okay. And I'm going to look at her and give her probably the most sincere look William's ever given in his entire life. And I'm going to tell her, it's okay. I'm going to get your stuff back. And then I'll sprint off running after Sarkesha. Okay. Just yelling, I'm going with her! Okay, Okay. so as William runs by, at that time, Arden, are you shaking Zarlius awake? <laughs> yeah, if he's still asleep, because if not, it's shaking him awake. Yes. I took out like a little like a little thorn out of my finger just to like prick his face to wake him up. Okay, yeah, that only works. We gotta go. We gotta go. Uh. (laughs) Oh, I threw my mask back on before I started running. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. Um, So as as Zarlius is now waking up by being poked in the face uh, by Arden, you hear, like, running by really fast, just... I'm going with Sharkasha, and just le- like you just hear like it, it's getting louder, and then as he walks by the door or runs by the door, it just it's very loud and just keeps going. And that is where we will to be continued 